quick, 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 did she get it? She got it. She got something. There we go. She caught one of the baby whistling ducks. She's been trying for days. She's been trying for days. Isn't that exciting? Well done, little Shongololo. Well done. So happy. Yay. Well done, little Shongi. So the whistling ducks, we didn't even see them. Craig actually just spotted them and then she just took off. And I mean, is it this exciting? She's caught, it looks like a baby whistling duck. A white faced whistling duck. Mom's sitting in the middle there. Let's just go have a quick look where she is. Well done, Shongile. That's a nice little meal for you. Oh, Mike from Cheetah Plains arrived at the exactly the right time as she left. Let's try to see where she is now. I'm sure she's very chuffed with herself at the moment. I can't see her just yet. She's in front. Oh, there she is. Just spotted her in the grass. Well spotted, Craig. So not the best view of her eating. But there she goes. She's got it in her mouth. Now, she'll probably be quite protective of this carcass. Take it right into a thicket. Isn't that exciting? Well done, Shungile. So we were just talking about how a adaptable leopards are. I just want to make sure we don't give her a fright. Can you see her yet, Craig? There she is. Okay, we got her there. We can see her eating now. No, it's not a little duck. It's a another terrapin. Oh dear. I can smell it as well. It's I'm just worried the thorns hit me. Can you get it, Craig? Here we go, whoops. So it's another terrapin, it's not in fact a duck, but the ducks were right there. Shame, that's not as good a meal, but it is still a meal. And I can actually smell the terrapin. One of its defense mechanisms is to evacuate its bowels, and it is incredibly smelly. So she's just waiting to try to get a grip on some of the meat. So her jaws, there you can hear the, she's, there she's got the, she's got the little hinge. It seems like she's got the hinge open. Oh, the terrapin's trying to bite her. Look at that. That terrapin's biting her. She's trying to open up. I mean, she, the fact that she's trying to open up that that carapace means she is she is really hungry. And as I say, I think she's been surviving off these terrapins for quite some time. And there's the leg. Sorry, I thought it was she was that was trying to bite her, but it's actually the leg. So she's trying to get in through the back. Yeah, she's got, looks like she's going to go for one of the legs now. Now, guys, sorry, uh, this is for sensitive viewers. Please uh, understand that this is nature and it is wild. We can't predict. We can't script. So and I, we do know that Terrapin's still alive. If you are a little bit sensitive, it is probably going to take her quite some time before she actually kills this little Terrapin. So if you are sen sensitive, maybe go get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee uh, and just, just stay away for a little bit. She saw that from all the way at the other side of the, the, the pan. Can you hear the crunching of the carapace? I 
looks like she has managed to get some meat which is going to have to do a bit more crunching see how she's using her molars and premolars to break the, the edges where it's probably the weakest there we go she's got some meat there that looks a bit better and as you can see, the terrapin is still alive, still moving. The, the fact that its its movements are getting slower uh, would mean it's it's probably not too long off being dead now. But well done, Shungile. She has to eat to survive. And every little bit counts. Now remember, if you have any questions, hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. Wow, isn't this exciting? Let me know how seeing Shungile get a meal even a small one makes you feel uh, so let me know I would love to hear hashtag Safari Live on Twitter how does Shungile getting a meal make you feel makes me feel very happy very relieved now as I said it does look like she's eaten since the last time I had a good look at her she she's by no means full as I said she's probably had multiple small meals like this terrapins uh, Maybe the odd little tortoise as well. <laughs> Michael uh, Evans, who asked by the serrated hinged terrapin, wants to know, is that one of them? Indeed it is. I'm just going to try move a little bit so we can get a slightly better view. And try avoid getting whacked by the knob thorns. Okay. Oh dear, this, I think I'm going to come around from the other side. I don't think I'm going to be able to negotiate past those thorns. And they're still getting caught in the car. Let go, knob thorn. Thank you. Uh, no. Let's, let's try and negotiate through somewhere else. Uh, what S Steph is wondering, could she possibly break her teeth on those, on, on the carapace of the, the terrapin? Uh, it is, it is uh, possible, but unlikely. She's more than likely to, to blunt in her teeth more than anything else. But uh, those teeth are incredibly strong. Okay. Get out of there. So the knob, uh, the whistling ducks are still here. And while we try to get into a better spot to see Shungile munching away on that hinged terrapin, uh, let's go to James, who's with another spotted creature. Now, everybody, here we are with the hyena.